Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief on week 51, if I'm not mistaken, 51. All right. And welcome to Instagram Live, guys. It's crazy. It's it's been raining non-stop in Malaysia, all right? I feel like I'm in a semi-winter country, even though it's supposed to be tropical. So, guys, welcome. Let me start doing a few shout-outs. Generous, pretty, all right? Bonit, Preswala, right to Vishal, QNET official, that's Rita, Sarah Zalmadi, I remember you from ISB, Nikhil Sabarwal, Dawal, Panchal, Kunal, Sundesha, Hif, Zoo 89, Malik, Salman Faris, Pankaj, Sahil, Korape, Guna Segara Divya, Sahil, Linz Babu, Vikram, uh, Lorin, the V official has joined, Rich Rich 26, let's rock it, R23, Sankat, all right, Unstoppable Zach, what's up, Kalai Nordstar, all right, AVP Kalai in the house. I hope Kwantan was a rocking success, Kalai. All right, uh, Zululand, that's Zul from Singapore. Brave, Mazumbar, um, Girly Smith. Love you too. All right, uh, Adli Hassan, V partner, Adli Hassan in the house. Chirak, Nazi, Asha, Pushpinda, Brijesh, AVP Brijesh in the house. I see you. Yash Hash V Singh, Tran Lin from Vietnam, Nanjaraje M, Tipa, Tipa is in the house, V Council Tipa, Said Sadiq from Tanzania, what's up, uh, Vietnam, Tileha Tran, Varnika Pranali 73, alright, Dr. Diesel, Naju Maida, Yoga, Yoga Lover 45. That means you either love somebody called Yoga or you love the exercise called Yoga. Gaware Weiberf. All right. Shout out. Shout out to all of you guys around the world. Vicky Ras. What's up? All the way from Singapore Weeks. All right. And guys, greetings. 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 Greetings to my V family all over the world. This is your chief. Um... Super excited because this week, week 51, is the final week for the early bird, for the lead to succeed bonanza. So, we did the, this promo for four weeks. So, you have two weeks early bird. Now, this is the last week of early bird. That means the second week of the promo. Alright, so please, please, I know that coming to the end of the year, you have a lot of distractions and you are planning Christmas, New Year, holding hands, singing Kumbaya with your family. It's okay to take a couple of hours here and there for Christmas, for New Year. All right. We still need to value the relationships we have. But don't miss out on this week of closing with the early bird because the bonuses from the lead to succeed bonanza is unbelievable. So please, guys, do something about it. Australia, I see you. So firstly, let me greet everyone around the world. Assalamu alaikum to all my Muslim brothers and sisters. I see you all over the world. Privet to everyone who speaks Russian around the world in all our key markets. All right. Uh, bonjour, bonjour, bonjour to everyone in our French-speaking regions, Upper Kabar, Malaysia, Indonesia, and also Hong Kong. And Ni Hao Ma Hong Kong, Sin Chao Vietnam, Mekalawa, Myanmar, Namaste, Wanakam, Aibowan, for everyone in uh, Sri Lanka, India, all right, Nepal, okay, uh, Vigets, Ola, all right, um, good, good, and dead, or good morning, or whatever, okay, all around the world in uh, QN Europe, in Europe, all right, am I missing out anyone? Yeah, yeah, okay. I think I covered everyone, guys. Sastrikal, I see you. Pushpinda, Asha, I see you. All right. Okay, guys. So welcome to my Instagram live. It's been crazy. I just went out and completed my Christmas shopping for my loved ones. Uh, and 
and appreciating a lot of the financial freedom thanks to Japadas Bismarck and Dato Sri Vijay Ishwaran. Um, it's so important that we understand and be grateful for what we have. So, you know, guys, sometimes we're so busy doing the daily grind of networking, presentation, follow through, training, uh, overcoming challenges, uh, okay, whatever you have to handle, uh, relationships in the network, that we forget to stop and be grateful that we belong to this great industry. And before I start with my message, I want you guys to understand that there is no other industry like network marketing. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of opportunities out there. Right now, everyone is on this crypto bubble that will burst eventually. A uh, lot of stuff. All right? But you see, you're not here to make a quick buck. You're here to build a sustainable network that is continuously going to pay you, your children, your grandchildren. All right? And I think network marketing is the most beautiful platform because firstly, it's simple. It's, 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 you know, it's moron proof. You just have to be a moron with a dream. It's moron proof in the sense that any Tom, Dick or Sally can present the QNET presentation. We have one of the easiest presentations to do, the Compland, 3000 BV on the left, 3000 BV on the right. Of course, there's ranks, gold, sapphire, platinum, diamond, blue diamond, but at the basic level is 3000 on the left, 3000 on the right, you get paid. It's easy to teach. It's easy to duplicate. But this is the only business where you build a business for long term. You grow as an individual. That this business is a lot about growth. If you hear Japa, Dato Sri Vijay at VCon on their videos on VTube Plus, um, they talk about you. They talk about your growth. They don't, they don't only talk about network marketing. All right? And I love this business because it's not something you do alone, that you cannot succeed alone, that your skill set has to improve in managing relationships, handling your business. And I think it's the most accessible concept of entrepreneurship and compared to any other industry in the world. So firstly, I was very grateful today, thanks to Japa, Dato Sri Vijay, and this great unbelievable organization called QNET, the V, all right? It has given me financial freedom, but not only money. It has given me, you know, a wealth of relationships, a wealth of knowledge, paradigm shifts that have helped me grow up and to become the leader I am today as your upline, as your chief, representing the great ones, Japa and Datu Sri Vijay. I think it's a wholesome business, you know? It's not only limited to money, all right. Yes, money is... Actually, to be honest, money is a side effect if you master and enjoy the journey. Are you guys with me? So I think today I just want to give credit to the people before us who created this concept, this philosophy of network marketing or free enterprise, uh, equal opportunity. Because or not, we would all be broke Go to work, come back home, 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 go to work, come back home for the rest of our lives. So today I just want to express my gratefulness to Japa and Datu Sri Vijay for f starting this in 1998, guys. All right? Life is beautiful. Count your blessings. Enjoy the journey. All right? Whether it's tough or easy, it doesn't matter. If you don't quit, you will make it. Now, today is a very special day for me. Um... Today's, if my mom was alive, all right, today, December 19, would be her birthday. So today was a little bit of mixed emotions for me, missing her, all right, remembering the, the amazing journey I've had as her son uh, throughout the time she was with us. And, uh, you know, I was just talking to Datu Sri, expressing my gratefulness to him, because thanks to him, I was, be, was able to give my mom, Amma, a fantastic life, the last 10, 15 years of her life. And um, it's important. And today, I just wanted to share with you guys a few things I've learned from her, which I think made me who I am today. All right? You know, it's so easy to take our parents for granted. All right? And there are multiple reasons for this. Number one, they come from a different generation. 
say they don't mentor and teach like what we understand today. But I think that our parents laid the foundation of who we are. And sometimes we get so busy, they live in the hometown, we live in the city, that we don't take the time to truly appreciate our parents. Now you must consider how lucky you are. Because I lost my dad when I was three years old and I lost my mom in 2010, all right, 11 years ago. And uh, so I'm technically, I don't have parents. I'm an orphan, whatever said and done, all right. And if your parents are still alive, don't wait to express your gratitude. Don't wait to express your love. I know you're busy networking. I know you are chasing your dream, but put aside some time, whether it's breakfast, you know, take them to their favorite restaurant, sit down with them and, and watch their movies with them, whatever. Just put some time aside for them because they don't want your money. They don't want anything from you. They just want you to be successful. They want you to be happy. But most importantly, they just want that little time with you. So after this Instagram live, if you are close by to your parents, get into your damn car and instead of going out with your friends to have a couple of drinks or a social dinner, go spend time with your parents. This is what I strongly recommend to you. Not recommend, demand you to do it, okay? I'm still your chief. And the reason for this, because today I'm looking back at my mom not being around and I miss her tremendously. I can remember the laughter, the how I used to irritate her and how she would wake up at four in the morning just to feed me if I'm hungry and... and and the travels, she traveled to every VCon. She never missed a single VCon, local or international. It's just, remember your parents, guys. All right? We gave so much time to our friends, to morons who can be disloyal to us. All right? We socialize in the name of feeling relevant. But we should never forget these two great people, our mom and dad, who without them, you would not be here. You will not be who you are today. You understand? So this is a shout out to all the moms and dads. If you're watching this Instagram live with your parents, please convey my love, convey my respect to your mother, to your father. And today on this Instagram live, I just want to share with you guys, all right, some of the most important lessons I learned from my mom, all right? And um, there's one thing which I always wanted to talk about, and I think I spoke about it a long time ago. And I always remember the module done by Arun George at VCon, you know, where he talks about the word sacrifice. You see, we are morons, right? You are moron. I'm a moron, okay? Because we make a big deal about the sacrifices we make. We come from this generation that has to dramatize everything we do. Oh, I didn't sleep for two days. Who gives a hoot? You understand? Oh, I've been working non-stop. Oh my God, non-stop. Presentation, presentation. Oh, I haven't had a moment to watch a movie. And we brag about the sacrifices we make. Because we come from a generation of entitlement, I think. All right? Because every generation, you know, every generation forward, people get worse. All right? They don't know hard work. They don't know uh, sacrifice. And they dramatize everything. So my, my lesson in life, which I learned from Amma uh, my whole life, is that today you will never hear me dramatize about my sacrifice. I work hard. I don't sleep. All right? I can keep doing what I'm supposed to do and do and do and do, but I don't dramatize it. There is no need to. And the reason is very simple. Because I watch my mom make great sacrifices. Today, looking back, but she never spoke about it. She just looked at it as these are the cards I'm dealt. If I want to be a single mother of three boys and put them through school and inshallah put them to university and get them a good education so one day they become successful, then this is the journey I have to take. She doesn't brag about the sleepless nights. She doesn't brag about the fact that she didn't do anything for her own selfish needs and she was consistently selfless throughout her journey as a single mother. So we should stop, you know, 
dramatizing everything. If you want financial freedom, this is the journey you have to take. If you want to make your dreams into a reality, then this is the price you have to pay. These are the sacrifices we have to make. There's no use talking about it. Just shut up and do it. You understand? And I live that way. Those of y'all who have known me very close, all right, I never talk about what I do every day. I don't consider it a sacrifice. I don't consider, consider it paying the price. It is just Patman's journey that he has chosen. And once you have chosen a journey, don't analyze it. Don't complain about it. You know, take a deep breath and just complete the journey. Because you chose it. Nobody chose it for you. Nobody forced you to become a networker. Nobody forced you to dream again. Nobody forced you, all right, to want to be different and have a paradigm shift and make a difference in your family's life. You chose this path. And once you have chosen a path, it is moronic to complain about the path that you have chosen. You understand? It's like people... I see a lot of people who say, I'm going to go to the gym and work out starting today. And every day after finish the gym, they come and say, oh my God, I am terrible. I did cardio one hour. Oh my God, I carried weights. Blah, blah, blah. This is all. Oh, Why? Who forced you to go to the gym? You wanted to do it because you wanted change in your life. And we made this choice. But when I think of my mom, she didn't make the choice to be a single mother. That was the master plan for her. And I can swear, in, in, um, in 35 years of my life, I never heard her complain about what she had to do. I never heard her complain about anything, guys. She was a soldier she would just keep doing what she had to do because that was her part that was given to her by God. All right? And she embraced it. Now you guys chose this part. That's even more intense because you made the decision that this is what you want to do. That you want financial freedom. Then I believe in life. Once you've chosen a part, and you want to achieve financial freedom, I don't think sacrifice exists. I don't think it's about paying the price. I think it's about living the life according to the decision you have made. So to all of you, you know, sometimes I sit down and think, all right, I have no right to complain after be watching my mom bring us up. I have lost the ability to complain. I've lost the abil ability to brag about my, my sacrifices, you know. It's nothing, guys. You think going out there and doing presentation is sacrifice? No. You think giving up your social existence of going for a movie or going for a couple of drinks and having normality is sacrifice? No. You want to see sacrifice? Look at your mom. Look at your dad. Our parents never lived their life the way they wanted to because they made every sacrifice for us. They didn't buy what they wanted to buy. They, they, they didn't live. If we look at the things our parents kept, they would keep things for 30 years. Your dad didn't buy a shoe every month. Your dad would repair the same shoe he bought 10 years ago. Your mom, if lucky enough, would buy a sari or a new cloth. But her priority would be putting new clothes on us for Diwali or Eid or Christmas or Chinese New Year. You understand? And this is what we are blind to. So today I realize on my mom's birthday that once you have chosen a path, it's no longer sacrifice. It becomes who you are supposed to be. This is our journey. So I don't come back home after working 18 hours. Sometimes me and JR would finish our last call together at 3 in the morning. And after I finish my call at 3 in the morning, I don't sit down there and say, Whoa, 
I work very hard today. No, this is what we do. This is the role of being applied to the world. This comes with your territory. So if you have downlines, all right, and you are an upline leader, as I always tell Kalai, Brijay, Shipra, you know, Said Amir, Yusuf Sila, Tobeng, uh, Ibrahim Raiwek, I tell all our warriors on the ground, Dorian, Ainash, all right, Hassan, Jawad, I tell all of them, all right, that, that this is the price you pay. That there's no need to analyze it. This is just what we do, guys. You chose the path. Alright? So wake up. Smell the coffee. Stop even considering that you're making a sacrifice or paying the price. Look at your parents. You will realize that. That's the first thing I want to share with you today. Because I always talk about making the sacrifice, you know, paying the price. But when I look at my mom, she never used these kind of words. She just said, this is my life. And I will be the best I can be. And I will do the best I can do. And that's it. So my advice to all of you who are now on this path to financial freedom, be the best you're meant to be and do the best you can do and leave the rest to him as Dato Sri Vijay always says. All right? And the second point I, I, I realize about my mom is, is this concept of love, but I don't know how to say it, you know. I don't know how to define this, but I'll try. And I want to see whether you guys can capture it. You know, we understand love as something that you express to people. You show. You understand? I love you, right? And you try your best to show it to that person. But there's something about our mothers that even they do not show it. They don't say it because we come from a generation. I don't know about other cultures around the world, but I come from a very um, Asian conservative culture. And I realized that our mom would never say, I love you, Asati and Kuna. You know, Amma would never say, I love you, son, or I love you, Patman. You know, uh, when we, when when I used to say it, because uh, I was exposed to Dato Sri Vijay, to 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 Japa, and and I understood that the words "I love you" carry a lot of weight, and uh, but in our culture, you say it, it doesn't mean anything because our parents didn't say it. So I realized that I had to say it to my mom. So I used to tell Amma, "I love you, I 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 love you," and her reply would be like, "Have you eaten?" Did you sleep? All right. Did you send your clothes for laundry? Because we used to travel, right? And we used to say this. But I'm not talking about the words only. I'm talking about the energy that, that came from what they did. That they put love into everything they did. Whether it is a simple thing as making lunch or hugging us or looking after us or keeping the house, you know, neat and, and proper and, and making sure we are good men, you know, three sons, that our value systems are solid. They did everything with love. Do you, don't you realize this? If you look at your parents, they did everything with this unbelievable energy of love and uh, positivity and the aura of what they did, simple things, guys. I don't know whether I'm getting the message to you. I hope you understand. I hope I'm making sense, Kalai, and not wasting uh, this, this Sunday of yours. But even if she prepares a, a, a cup of tea, all right, there's something different about it. I don't know how to explain this. That they put love into everything they did. Do you understand what I mean? That it was so powerful, guys. That I was always wanted to understand that. And I remember talking to Datu Sri Vijay, all right, about this concept. And I don't know how to turn it into a module, all right. But uh, Datu Sri explained to me, it it's, doesn't only apply to mothers, it applies to anyone. That if you love what you do, all right, if you love what you do, you can change the world. 
And I understood that. Alright? So I want you guys to understand this and I don't want to surprise you or, or, or confuse you. It's very simple. If you don't love what you do, you will never do it long enough. Because human nature, we don't do what we don't love. Are you guys with me? Alright? So... I realized that it doesn't only apply to a mother's love in a family. It can and should apply to everything we do. So I ask myself thousands of times, I'm here for 23 years, guys. All right, 23 years I've been doing this uh, as a humble student of Dato Sri Vijay and his downline. And I, and I believe that the reason why we have been around for 23 years and why we are the most powerful e-commerce network marketing company in the world is because everything that we have done, it's, it's not perfect. You know this. We have problems with shipping, products. Our Google search may not be as good as other companies. Uh, uh, a lot of things. We are far from perfection. And a lot of people are amazed that we are still around and growing and growing and growing. And today, the number one 100% e-commerce network marketing company in the world. All right. Okay. And we have survived every challenge. We have survived every attack. We have survived all criticisms, all negative media. And I asked myself, why? And I found my answer today when I was thinking about Amma, my mom. Because I believe in my heart 100% that Dato Sri Vijay and Japadas Bismarck, our great founders, they built this organization based on love. That they, they do everything they do out of love, just like a mother would, like a father would. That's why we're still around. There's a certain aura about us that people cannot understand. They cannot understand the power of our weacons. They cannot understand why our top le leaders are in service, ISB. They cannot understand our loyalty and love for the founders, Japa and Dr. Sri Vijay. They cannot understand how that some of our leaders can go through great challenges, even go to jail and come out and still max out after that. And my conclusion is, we built this with love. Love for the people, love for the employees of QI, QNet, the VQ lifestyle the love for each other, my love for Dato Sri Vijay and Japa, our love for this industry, our love for the power of dreams, our love for humanity, rhythm, raise yourself to help mankind. And I think this is why we are here. So my second advice to you is, do everything with love. Fall in love with this journey. Fall in love with this ability to change lives. Fall in love with this industry of entrepreneurship and creating financial independence in the common man and common woman with the uncommon dream. Do everything with love and I promise you your organization will go bigger, stronger, louder, guys. Just love what you do. Love the people for who they are. Alright? And I've learned this lesson that if whatever you do with love can never fail. Whatever you do with love can overcome everything any challenge and win any battle I promise you and that's what I've learned from my mom she was so beautiful and innocent and naive that she only knew how to do things with love and I believe that this is the same DNA that Japa and Datu Sri built this organization on so guys today remember there is no sacrifice there is no paying the price if this is the journey you have chosen. It comes to the territory. This is the card you've been dealt with. You want financial freedom? This is our life. You want to build a global network and become a max out king and queen? This is our life. All right? You have to overcome challenges. You've got to fight every day for what you believe in. You've got to fight for the dreams of your downlines. All right? You've got to raise the bar higher every time. Like now, second week, early bird, final week for early bird, lead to succeed Bonanza. And then, it's not sacrifice, it's life. Do you understand? And do everything with love. This is something I firmly believe in. And right after this Instagram live, wherever you are, 
even if your parents are out of town call them on facetime on video call they all got whatsapp video anyway and spend some time with them update them what you're doing put your kids on the camera so they can see your grandchildren give them a hug and do whatever your culture tells you to do to get their blessings and and show them your respect and love our parents are the reason we are still here today that's what i believe so i love you guys all over the world all right and i'll be seeing you very soon week 51 baby so we got one more week before we close 2021 and the last few days of the year build it with love with a sense of urgency don't waste the next you know 10 days 11 days of the year 12 days of the year don't waste it all right it could change completely how you go into 2022 guys so this is your chief saying i love you welcome to week 52 the final week of the early bird lead to succeed bonanza thank you for all the wishes wishing my mom happy birthday i truly miss her but i know she's watching over all of us all right i love you guys